Hi, today I'm going to show you how to create ordinal numbers using conditional formatting in Excel. The standard Microsoft Excel is not able to conditionally format cells for the purposes of creating ordinal number formats. As we can see in the following, sure we can format a cell, we're not able to provide the flexibility which conditional formatting will deliver us to us, which was required with ordinal number formatting. Using conditional formatting as in the following, we have to create individual new formatting rules based on the output of the cell, which we can see in the following. Clearly we need dis dis different formats based on the value. For number one, we need first, number two, we need second, number third, we need third, and so forth. Only conditional formatting will deliver this in a concise way, which the standard Microsoft Excel cell format will not. As we can see here, by delivering these rules and copying the formatting across, we can deliver on ordinal formatting of numbers. In this second example, we're going to format numbers down the page, as in the following Sales Commission dashboard. We want to be able to uh, provide the, f the number for the each country in our dashboard as in the following by creating again rules in conditional formatting to specify which ordinal number the cell value represents. Again, as mentioned, one needs to have the first ordinal integer, number two needs second, and so forth. So again, by creating these formatting rules in conditional formatting, as the following is showing you, we can create this seamless cell formatting for ordinal numbers.
It is it's important to remember that with the conditional formatting that the the area range that we specify will be the only area that will be impacted by the specific formatting of these cells. As we're showing in the following, we're formatting across a range of about 30 cells, 30 countries, which we want to present with their ordinal numbers. One thing to remember is that the, f the benefit of conditional formatting is such that it is highly flexible. The way I'm presenting here is not the only way you can present conditional formatting with the respective formulas. In the following we have our conditional formatting of our ordinal numbers based on our different countries. And we're now providing some additional countries we're going to insert. Into our sales commission dashboard. across the world and as we can see here again the formatting as I describe only relates to a specific data array cell C38 has, does not have that conditional formatting as such. We will need to amend our existing rule to capture number 31, which will be 31st. We have now made the update to our conditional formatting and have achieved our objective of providing cell formatting across for ordinal numbers.